I was thinking of going back to the farm today. You and Ryan want to come along? I don't know, Dal. If the Chosen come back, you're a sitting duck out there. Tyson, what the hell do you think you're doing? The lab door is wide open and there's antidote just lying around. If someone wants it, they're welcome. It's free, isn't it? You guys are all getting way too careless. Jack, we're gonna pull up the grill soon. Chloe, Patsy, I want you at your post. Wait for my signal. And don't you dare screw this up. Whoa, cranky. doesn't work too good, Jack. You're getting really restless down there. Ebony, can you repeat? This is crazy. I'm going to open up. Wait, Jack! Morning. Not so as you'd notice. Yeah? What's wrong? It's not still Jack, is it? I've had it with Mr. Moody. All right, then. Can you talk to him now? Please? I really hate Ebony. She's gonna be so mad. Look, it was my fault, so I'll say I did it. Will you really? Yes. So you don't have to worry. All right. Thanks, Jack. You're my hero. Will you mend my blades if I bring them? All right. Hey, Jack. You got a minute to talk? What about? No goods for trading. Leave the stuff here, girls. Happy now? You know having Ebony in charge was the last thing I wanted. I thought her goons were here to try and stop trouble getting in. But tell me, how long do you reckon it'll be before they try to stop us from getting out? What's your point? You don't think a nice guy like Bray is going to be able to handle a nasty piece of work like Ebony, do you? You have to fight fire with fire. Think about it. Well, you guys are acting like you've just got divorced. And you're not even hitched yet. Yeah, one of you has to make a move. Supposing, um, hypothetically speaking, I'm ready to make the first move. What move would that be? Why don't you try kissing her? Like I showed you. Is Jack gonna kiss Ellie? Get out! But my play! Out! Well, it looks like your secret's out now. You'll have to make your move fast. What do you think this is? Wait your turn. It's getting crazy. Dell, are you going out to the farm? Yeah. You asked, Bray? Yeah. Are you all right? I'm fine. I just want to get out of here, that's all. She's trying to protect us, Dal. No. She thinks she can take Amber's place. But she can't. No one can. Hey, boy! Give me that. Get him. Call it, guys. Throw them out. Wait. But they were just trying to fix the price of a chicken for dinner. Thanks for trying, Lex. You're not needed anymore. 
Leave security to us. Well, it looks like the Queen Bee has got the hive really buzzing. Come on, guys, she has got to go. Why? So we can have King Rack back? She seems really sick. You don't think the virus could mutate and start affecting animals, do you? Maybe we should take her back to the barn. You've got a visitor. I'm sorry if I came on too hard today. That's okay. So, you heard what happened in the queue today? Some trouble, yes. They could have been assassins. And you could have been their target. But they weren't. And I wasn't. So what is it you want? To protect you. These are just plants. Is that what you're frightened of? A little flower power? It needs to be controlled. Okay, Alice. You can go. I've been thinking about how to distribute the antidote to places beyond our own region. The way would be to teach others how to make it. Travelers would be able to pass the knowledge on. Then we would lose all our influence and all our power. The only power that matters is the power to heal. Who knows? I might even teach you. That would be the way. A dangerous way. All true paths have dangers. Those who live dangerously don't often live long. Hi. Hi, Ellie. Hi, Jack. Hi, Ellie. Ellie, did you know that Jack once... Don't even think about it, Chloe. Oh, do you um, want to go? I don't know how. Well, well it's easy. I'll, I'll show you. You put that there. And right in there. No, don't spin it. Spin. You stupid little moron. Do you know what could have happened today because of you? It wasn't just him. Shut up. I made a decision. It was wrong. I'm sorry. You don't make decisions. You obey my orders. You got that? You're horrible. We couldn't hear your stupid orders. Leave it, Chloe. Yeah. I've got that. You better start growing up, Jack. Fast. Because we don't have room for little boys around here. That wasn't fair. Yes, it was. What is with you, Jack? Why do you never stick up for yourself? Your game, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I used to play in the streets. And my dad sometimes. I miss him. Do you miss your dad? I've buried my parents, Bray. And there is no point in digging them up. For you or anyone else. Bill of Rights. We have to move on it, Bray. Now. Can't you see that Ebony is just waiting? And the more time that passes while we do nothing, the stronger she's going to get. We need Ebony's strength. We need it for this. You don't know what you're doing. I'm doing the best I can. Then why don't we just vote her out? I mean, together we've got the power. And there's nothing she or Bray could do about it. I agree with Lex. She's a nightmare. Tell them, Chloe. Jack? Tell them what she did. What? Has she gone mad because I screwed up? You're pathetic, Lex. And boy, have you got a nerve after everything you've done. Personally, I don't even know why you're still here. Well, it sounds to me like somebody's not getting tucked up in bed properly at night. Shut up. We all know what you're trying to do. I'm trying to get rid of someone no one likes. Great. So disappear then. This isn't about me. Look, Ebony is a snake. If we just leave her be, she'll poison us all. Come on, Selene. This isn't about what you think of me. This is for the tribe. I don't like her. I don't even trust her, but I trust Bray. And he says we need her to keep the tribe safe. So we keep an eye on her, that's all. Besides, what's the alternative? 
Lex, stay here, Ryan. Stay here with the kiddies in the playground. I just hate to see him like that, with nothing. He was always on the lookout for me. So now I've got to look out for him and make sure he doesn't destroy himself. He always seemed to be... It's difficult to explain. Self-destructive. How do you mean? I could tell. From the first moment I set eyes on him. It was the first day of boot camp. That whole time was so weird, just before the end. All the adults freaking, conscription for the big kids, the little kids being evacuated out to the country. Everything gone mad. It sounds funny, but I didn't mind boot camp. By that time, I wanted to be told what to do, but there was this one instructor there, Major Grant. Major Nightmare, more like it. In a month as unlikely as it may seem, we will have made men out of you. Well, I wonder how I should do that, eh? <laughs> Does someone have something to say? Well, that depends on how you're gonna make men out of us. And what is your name, recruit? Lex. Lex, ma'am. No, no, just Lex. <laughs> <laughs> just Lex. Well, just Lex. I am going to be keeping my eye on you. I know the feeling, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I'll be looking forward to it, ma'am. Oh, you'll be looking forward to it, will you? I'm very pleased to hear that. That's very important. Nothing else matters. And I'm sure, as long as I know how Lex feels, I'll get along just fine. What is that on your boot? Ice front! What is that on your boot? Are you deaf? Ice front! It'd be a pleasure, ma'am. Oh, poor Lex. Did that hurt? Do you feel hurt? Are you hurt? No, ma'am! Well, you will be as soon as you finish this course. If you finish this course. And if you don't finish this course, I'll send you straight home to your mommy. Do you understand me? Yes, ma'am. But I'll get through it. From what I hear, it's easy. Easy? Well, that's a good way of putting it. If you want to call it easy, that's just fine. And if any of you other boys find this easy, you'll have Lex here to thank. Oh, and one more thing. While you're here, I'd like you all to think of me as your mother. Mommy. Mama. Why, ma'am? Because while you're here, I am your mother. But unlike your real mama, I hate you. And you, and you, and you, Lex, I despise you, and you want to know why? Because you're trash. You look like trash, you think like trash, you smell like trash. T-R-A-S-H. What is he? Trash! That's what the rest of the boys think of you, and that's what you think too, don't you, Lex? I am talking trash, boy. Come on, let me hear you say yeah. Forget it! Oh, Lex. You see, I have a problem with that. I can't forget it. And I won't forget it. No, sir. No, 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 not me. I don't forget anything or anyone. After I've finished with you, you're not gonna forget me either. You'll never forget Mama, and you wanna know why? What is that on your boot? Answer your mother, you disgusting piece of dirt! Uh, Ma'am? What? What? Sorry, ma'am. It's just there isn't anything on his boot, ma'am. They're clean, ma'am, both of them. Are you contradicting me, recruit? No, ma'am, I'm just telling you. Well, you are a big boy, aren't you? And what's your name, recruit? Ryan. So, Lex and Ryan. 
Okay, listen up, boys. Mama saw something on Lex's boot. He didn't see it, and neither did our friend Ryan here, but Mama saw it, and you're gonna be able to see it too. Oh, yes. And since this is your first day, I was planning on letting you off the obstacle course just this once, but because Lex and Ryan seem to have so much to say, I think it's about time we let off a little steam, don't you? And got a little bit more dirt on Lex's boots. On all of your boots. And just remember who you have to thank for this. Now move! Thanks, man. It's all right. And she's crazy. Yeah, but she's kind of sexy. Honesty is good. You heard of the code of honor, Lex? No, ma'am. Well, I think it's about time you learned a lesson. You see? I'm honorable. Mama is honorable. What are you looking at? Keep moving. Go on, man. I can handle her. Marshaled. Ma'am, I cannot wait. He's a troublemaker, ma'am. One of the worst. You know I can handle a spirited recruit, but this one is different. He's vicious, depraved, evil. And something else, ma'am. I believe he has a particular problem with his mother. You know, with women. Mm hmm That cannot be tolerated. No, ma'am. I believe we need to make an example here. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, Major Grant. You may stand down. Did you see that? Did you see that? Ah! Shut up! But she! But leave it, man. It's not gonna work. She stitched me. Ah! This behavior is unheard of! Since you seem to be completely incapable of keeping company with civilized human beings, we're gonna give you what you seem to have been asking for. Six months. Make it twelve! Hard labor. Make it fifty! On the farms. You morons! Poor Lux. Poor you, Ryan. So you see why I can't just let him? 
We've been through too much together, Selene. I can't abandon him now. Of course not. Ryan, I'm so sorry. Hey, hey, that's enough. What do you think you're doing? Just showing a bit of muscle. In case any stranger gets the wrong idea. We're trying to win people's trust, Ebony. You think we're going to do that by showing off what a fine little army we have ourselves? What? You heard me. A sheep. You need to see it, Alice. What if it's the virus? I can't leave here. You know what to do, Ellie. Why don't you go with him? Hi. Ellie, I was just um, wondering if you wanted to come over to my... Sorry, I can't, Jack. I've got to go. Oh. Sorry, Jack. It's a farm emergency. Don't worry, she'll be back. Doesn't matter. <laughs> what doesn't matter? I do not use the antidote as an instrument of will. What's going on in there? By putting the Bill of Rights in place, it'll work for the good of everyone. You can only say that, Danny, because you believe people should be bound by rules. I can see it in your aura, but that is not what I believe. Oh, God! Danny, take it easy. She's gonna give our future away! Can't you just see that your ideas are stupid and dangerous? If you want to give away the formula, I can't stop you. But there will be a price. If you do, you'll no longer be a part of this tribe. Well, she's not ill, Dal. She's pregnant. What do we do? Shouldn't have to do anything, except watch. I don't think I can do that. Squeamish, Dal. I thought you wanted to be a farmer. Not a sheep farmer. Don't worry. I've done this before. <coughs> you and me have got to stay with this little lady now. Looks like it could be a long haul. What do we do? Just wait. Can't sleep? Not till I know my little family's all safe and sound. <laughs> your little family's been saying nasty things about you behind your back. And you've been defending me, Lex? How sweet of you. Come here. <laughs> you've lost it. You're going down all the way to the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> 